told the family of Isaiah Curry is horrified by the sight of him with a gun in each hand and by the video of him struggling with and shooting an unarmed security guard. And when I talked with him, he was very coherent. He understood. Attorney MJ Hugan says Curry's family's torn up by what happened. She explained they posted bond to get him out of isolation in the county jail. His family was very concerned that he was just going to spiral, that once you really isolated him, um, that this was going to be a problem. Curry had previously assaulted a guard for UC Health. Cincinnati police considers his criminal record extensive and violent. Very obviously there were some, some mental health issues here as well. Curry was freed a little over a week ago when Judge Leslie Giz lowered his bond on a low-level felony. She told WLW radio host Bill Cunningham today. I'm sick about it. I mean, this guy may die, and I'm, you know, I'm feel responsible for that. Responsibility is a major conversation in the aftermath of what happened. UC Health Security is not an accredited police agency. The guards do not carry weapons. UC Health would not comment today about any potential changes in their security setup. FOP President Dan Hills posted this question on Facebook. What type of criminal justice system fails to keep Mr. Curry in jail? The answer is a severely broken one. Right after the new year, the plan was to get Curry into mental health court. Apparently no one saw Wednesday coming. His brother sat right where you were sitting, talking to me four weeks ago about their brother and how much they cared for him. MJ Yugen saying the Curry family is grieving tonight not only for their loss, but also for the wounded security guard here at the hospital. Uh, we heard earlier that he wasn't doing well. However, Judge Leslie Giz uh, told us today she received word this afternoon that he's expected to pull through, which is where we leave it as this Christmas weekend arrives. Reporting live, John London, WWT News 5.